Hello everybody and welcome to part 5 of the creating a login and registration page using Laravel and Bootstrap. At the end of lesson of uh, tutorial part 4 we had just moved this home uh, this function here this route actually here into the home controller so and uh, you know it's in a git it's using a RESTful action to get the index so we're going to start off on this in part 5 of moving these into the, their respective functions or methods inside the user controller and to do this we're just going to simply cut and paste so we're going to, from the get from the get login route we're going to put get paste that into the get index route clean it up a little bit here And the next, we're going to grab the register and throw that into the get register function method. Okay, that's done. We need to go in here and fix our routes. So we'll just get rid of all this here. And simply save home at register for register. We've got a clothing parentheses in the line. And for login, I'm simply going to save home at index. Actually, correction, these are both user. So user index, and this would be user register. Okay, let's check and make sure it's going to work. So, here, and everything looks like it's working. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into some PHP. For registration, we're going to register first. And you see here we already have our have user to make sure that it worked. So go ahead and delete that come back in and let's get started on this post register function so inside this post register we're going to grab all the input from the registration form and to do that we're going to throw it into our variable and use the Laravel input all function class function whatever you want to call it okay next we're going to attach some rules so we can run a validator we can validate the form. So rules equals an array. Inside an array we need the username. And it's going to be required. You know, I have to add a pipe stem to separate these, and it's going to have to be unique to the user's table. Okay, next, we need to validate the email field on the form. So, we're going to email, we'll make it required, we'll make it unique to the user's field. It's going to have to actually be an email address, so it's going to validate. Laravel will validate to make sure that it is an actual email address. Or, so, or password. We're simply going to make that required. Now we could have added a. Uh, second password box field on the form and done something like password confirmed but for simplicity's sake we're just going to use this okay next we're going to instantiate an instance of the validator class so v equals validator make we're going to pass in two arguments 
which is the input and the rules. We could optionally add a third, which is be custom messages, but for simplicity's sake, we're just using this. Next, we're going to go ahead and make sure that this validator passes. And if it does, we're going to go ahead and save the user. If it doesn't, we're going to redirect it back to the registration form with any errors. And the errors will pop up on the plugin box that we made earlier. So to do this, we're just going to go ahead and run an FL statement if V fails. And, that, and I've hit the caps lock key. So hold on. If B fails, we're going to return redirect to register with errors. And we're going to pass in the value of the validator. So any errors that it had, it will show it there. Else, we're going to go ahead and save the user into the database. So first off, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the start with the uh, the hashing. Laravel includes its own hashing system, which I believe runs on Bcrypt, which is very secure. So we're just going to grab the value of the password field. And we're going to use uh, Laravel's hash make. So hash make, as you can see, it's going to take a value and a number and a number of rounds to see it to. You can read up on Bcrypt, but it it runs your password and hashes it through multiple rounds. We're only going to hash one round. So we're just going to use password, no rounds. Next, we're going to instantiate a new instance of the user model. To do this, we're just going to simply use user equals new user. Okay. Next, we're just going to go through the fields. So user username equals input username. user email equals input email user password equals password and finally user save and that will save the user into our database. Next we're going to go ahead and redirect them to the login page so they can log in and go to their profile page. So we're going to return redirect to login. And here we're going to go ahead and handle this login. This func this uh, profile so title equals we're just going to use a standard PHP for uppercase words auth user username I'm going to pin to that make it that person's it's possessive so it's that person's page That's that. And then we're just going to return into view. Turn view make user dot profile. Then with the title. So with title. Title. 
Okay, one other thing we have to fix here is we have to fix this logout. So we're just going to say git logout. It needs to be restful anyways. Next we're going to go ahead and handle the login part of this form, this action. So we're going to go up here into the post index and it's pretty much the same thing that we did for creating the user. So we're just going to get all the values of the input fields. So input equals input all. I have rules just to validate the bot, validate the login bot, login uh, page. These rules are just going to be an array. See email. is required and it must be an actual email and password is required sorry that is all screwed up Password is required. Okay, we're going to run the validator. So v equals validator make. Run an input. And we don't need messages. Run our if else. So if V fails. Run return. Redirect to login with errors. V else I don't run when I have a variable called credentials equals and we're just going to copy and paste some of this well no, we don't need to. So we're just going to make it an array. Email equals input email. Password. Password. I forgot this part right here. That would definitely give us an error. Password equals put password like so. And here we're gonna have another if else statement. If else statement. So if auth and we're going to use auth attempt and we're just going to use we could actually pass those in separately which since we have an array we're just going to pass in the array credentials need to have our second parentheses here Return them to the uh, if the auth attempt passes, we're going to return them to the login to the profile page. I 
if not we're just going to return right back to the login page so if else return redirect to login and that's done with the login page so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here in the next video we'll go ahead and make the profile page and go ahead and run our application and make sure that it works so I'll see you in the next video